can't get any smaller it does <laughs> yeah yeah so one thing i wanted to touch on i think i sent it to you but like so i've got you know two years ago we redid the book and our calvin redid his book the bbb4 mm -hmm. and we had and we had a couple people request wanting torque specs for bmx parts yeah and <laughs> basically i knew it wasn't really a thing but yeah. i didn't know how, to what extent it was what is what do you know about torque specs when it comes to bmx bikes i know that i should stop whenever on like it's all in my hand it's literally yeah. like and it's all an experience because i know that if you tighten those cap bolts on your stem too far you're gonna break it yeah, I, I know like, that your rear wheel, if you've got pegs on there, there is no torque spec because if you don't tighten it tight enough, your back wheel is going to move. Yeah, it needs to be tight. As tight as tight. you can get. I kind of go with like yeah. grunts, you know, how they make jokes about <laughs> like mechanic torque specs, like three grunts are tight enough. That's legit in BMX. It and really is, though. It's... That's all I've ever known in BMX. You know, like your stem, you get it as tight as you can because you don't want your st your bars rolling on you. That's one of the worst things. It's just a big bummer. I mean, one of the worst things I've seen in BMX was I was uh, I was racing and guy jumped a triple and his front wheel fell off midair. Like so, he and he was you know twelve feet in the air jumping oh, this man. this triple, and uh, wheel fell off just mess afterwards because oh, you know the fork flip. just hits the ground and you just you just face that's, plant that's a front flip um so so thinking about this a little further too this torque spec thing i guess what you could do is get a bmx bike and tighten everything to where you think it should be and then get your torque wrench and like start lower than what you think it is and work your way up to where it where you find yeah. the torque that it's at and that's that's it or yeah and because at the time i had reached out to companies and maybe one of them got back to me and said torque specs <laughs> tighten it till it's tight <laughs> yeah but, but but there is a it, lot of things yeah so for me and um bmx side i understand it and have been in it but in the last you know few years it's been mostly mountain bikes and road bikes and gravel bikes and uh, city bikes mm -hmm. and it, pretty much every single part on those bikes has a torque spec and yeah. if it's not yeah. labeled on the part itself it's you know in the in the in the literature for it so like you know this bike here let's say you know just just these little togs there's a little torque spec right on it oh, or wow. like you know just all kinds of different stuff you know like the axle Oh yeah. Okay. I've seen that writing before. I've just never like looked yeah. into it. Yeah. So there's torque specs, not only, you know, written right on the, the item, uh, but also in their literature. And I, I think most of it has to do with a little bit of, um, uh, of CYA, um, covering their butts a little bit of if, if somebody over tightens it or under tightens yeah. it, they can say, Hey, we told you what it should be tightened to, um, kind of on you that this happened. Yeah, and maybe maybe this is something that should happen in the BMX world, but just has been overlooked. I think I think the BMX mentality on that would just be like, eh, you know what it should be. <laughs> Too ch yeah, just the right amount of chill, just just super chill. Like yeah, just tighten it till it till it's tight, and just go with it. And but, it, it, there hasn't been that many issues with that. At the same time, I have a friend who cracked and broke his stem plate because he tightened it too tight yeah so then you know but then what did did he call the company and say hey dude i tightened this too far how tight should i get it you know and how many of those calls does that company have to get in order to you know change their way of doing things yeah and i you know or, or or should they I, I don't know i'm not saying anybody should or shouldn't i'm just you know i'm curious about it because it's different than the other uh bikes that we're seeing out there even even city bikes you know? so so when it comes to a torque spec, 
obviously you're trying to get to a point where like let's talk about the stem where you don't want your bars to move obviously that's where you're getting to too and you don't want to go so far that you you ovalize your bars or you break your stem so so there's a there's a between and i would imagine the number you choose is in the middle if these companies they're all I mean, they, most of the good companies are testing their parts. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it would be something that they would could just do in the process. And maybe maybe they should. They, theoretically, they could figure out with, if, you know, like in a stem, you know, most a lot of BMX stems are CNC aluminum. Yes. Pr pretty much you can tell what the sport, uh, the torque spec should be from your CAD drawing. What right. is the thread? You know, what threads are we using? What's the fastener? What's the yield point on that fastener? And then what's the yield point on this um, <clears throat> on this material that we're using for the stem? And then you look at the thickness of it. You can, you can, it'll, the program will basically spit it out for you. That's a really uh, good point too. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of one of those things where you could, it's not a super difficult thing to figure out, but it's start putting torque specs on things is that not fun i don't know i don't think it matters i think it's a matter of safety like someone just said this is a perfect like representation of why this should be a thing someone said but isn't tightness mainly personal preference no no <laughs> i don't think it should be <laughs> too, too tight and it breaks too loose and you crash yes you know, there's there is a there is too loose there is too tight your personal preference if it, if your preference is too tight and it breaks and you crash, that's that's not fun. Or if it's too loose and it, your bars roll and you, hit, you know face plant, that's not fun either. It's a matter um, of safety. And the other aspect of it is that a bike shop can't have themselves covered in the BMX world because if they tighten something not tight enough or too tight and it breaks, then it's on the bike shop. But if it was a torque spec, they could say, no, we tightened this to spec. This is not our fault. We did it as we were supposed to. Yeah. And then the company says, we came up with that torque spec based on this, 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 and this. So we're covered too. It's a liability um, thing. And I feel like just like we're saying, it, it's not something that is, should be really hard to figure out. No, you know, it, you know, the, the materials and threading that we're dealing with are pretty given, you know, it's, you know, aluminum, pretty given clamping onto um you know in other in in bmx there's carbon handlebars and everything sometimes it has to do with crushing the tubing that you're yeah. dealing with like the handlebars are ovalizing the bars like you said um so sometimes there's a little bit more thought process that needs to go into it but you should be able to figure out when the stem is going to break and that should be something to consider and then the typical handlebar and test a few things and see what's going on right but yeah and I don't want to be the, the safety police or anything. I was just curious about no, you know, what I, your thoughts on it all were. I really think you're onto something here. And it's, and it's also from another aspect that behind why a company might want to do this is the warranty and replacement costs. If people are breaking your stuff and it has a lifetime, no questions asked warranty, and it's because they tightened it too tight or didn't tighten it tight enough, when you could have put the torque spec on there and had something not break, that's saving you money as well. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's, there's, there's good for everybody. It's good. It could be a good thing for everybody. And it would give riders potentially more confidence. They wouldn't be questioning things. It'd be like, I have it to the correct tightness. I have the threads prepped the right way. Yep. This is what they said. And then and a company's like, this is how we got our numbers. And it was based on this testing. It's good. Um, yeah, I, I think it has the potential to be a good thing for everybody involved. The, I totally the riders, the company. Um, hopefully, the only people who hurt from it is the lawyers. Yeah, and and I totally agree with all of that. And I'm the kind of person that when I do these and I do my news videos and all of these things where I have to talk about opinions and different sides of the things, I try to think about both sides. And so here's the other side to this: a yeah. company can put their money into figuring out a torque spec. I don't know how much that would cost. It probably wouldn't cost a ton of money. Either way, though, just because they put it on there doesn't mean the whole entire BMX world and every single kid and person out there has to use it. 
Just because yeah, you're exactly. just because you're tightening things by feel now, and they put a torque spec on the stem that you buy a year from now, doesn't mean that you're automatically like, all right, I have to go buy a torque wrench and do this. No, it it just gives you it a lot of times. So in in our videos at Park Tool, we we give people perceived feel something uh, who people who don't have a torque wrench uh, give them a reference point, basically like this. Sh- okay, this torque wrench or this this torque, you know, like a mm-hmm. crank bolt on a, you know, pretty standard three piece square tapered crank. Yep. Um, this thing is supposed to be brought up to 400 inch pounds or, you know, somewhere around 40, 45 Newton meters. And okay. Eight, these numbers are not correct, by the way, yeah. an 18 inch wrench held at the end, pushed down at 40 pounds should give you about that amount of, uh, of torque. So, you know, it gives, we give you, we try to give you a feeling for what that torque actually is uh, based on feel and your, your, uh, your actually, you don't actually need to go and buy an expensive piece of equipment. You right. can use perceived effort, uh, which is better than nothing. You want to use at least some reference point, like, yeah, I think that was about 40 pounds out here. Mm-hmm. I guess you were close. And that torque spec, you know, all these torque specs usually are a range. You know, it's right in the middle. Like you said, it's right in the middle of like break and not break. Yeah, that that's a good point, too. And that just is also a great reminder to everyone out there of how good Park Tools videos are and how how thorough. And I feel like you guys have just gotten to a point where like that is what it is. You have this level of quality and you just cannot be below that or it's unacceptable. You, you got to move forward. You got to you got to get better and 